Are you traveling soon for vacation and you would like to know what are the hand carry, luggage or baggage, allowed and restricted items? Let me share that to you from this video. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat mga kabayan at mga travelers. Welcome to another episode of Jamie Iris Talk TV. Today we'll be talking about ano ba ang mga bagay ang allowed and restricted when it comes to your hand carry baggage, whatever flight you may be. So, i-discuss po natin ngayon in general kahit anong airlines po ang sasakyan ninyo, more or less ito po yung mga inaalaw na items nila at restricted din. Pero syempre, merong ilang mga items kung hindi tayo, hindi natin na-discuss ngayon and you would like to know and to be specific, you can always check that from your air, uh, airlines. But for the meantime, I'll share to you what is generically accepted as allowed items and what are items that are considered restricted sa mga hand carry or carry on baggage ninyo. Before that, I simply want to say welcome sa lahat ng ating mga subscribers and if this is your first time to join us, I simply want to say welcome. Iniimbitahan ko po kayo na i-click na yung subscribe button at notification bell so that you'll get updated every time we have a new video, whether it's travel, current events, or any other informative video that is simply just for you. My name is Jamie Ayres and I am your Talk TV show host. Simulan po muna na natin ang topic natin para sa video ito sa mga allowed and restricted items uh, for hand carry. So, para sa check-in luggage, we will discuss that in my other video kasi medyo mahaba-haba din po yun. But for the meantime, let's focus on hand carry. So, what are the allowed items? So, yun po yung una nating pag-uusapan. So, generally, for the baggage policy of um, most airlines, the allowed our items are as follow. Alam naman po natin with the designated size ng hand carry luggage natin, meron tayong free baggage allowance na 7 kilograms for international flights. Now, for domestic flights, sometimes it may vary. It might be lesser, but the standard most of the time for international flights will be 7 kilograms hand carry or carry on items so always check your itinerary yung flight itinerary that was given to you just to be sure kasi again there are different packages promotions and airlines so sometimes although standard natin yung seven kilograms uh just take a look uh, lalo na yung mga budget airlines sometimes uh maaring meron sila o wala or mas less but generically especially mga international airlines 7 kilograms ang hand carry na free baggage weight ng mga carry on baggage now what are the allowed items now every time you will be traveling with uh, most international airlines they will allow you to carry with you a 7 kilogram baggage or carry on bag however aside from that most airlines are also giving a chance for travelers to bring either one or extra, extra one or extra two personal items. So, bigyan ko kayo ng example. For the Philippine Airlines, so aside dun sa 7 kilograms ninyo, sabi dito lahat ng pasahero is allowed one piece of carry-on baggage na ang maximum total dimension ay 56 centimeters by 36 centimeters by 23 centimeters in inches, 22 inches by 14 inches by 9 inches ang size ng hand carry bag. Now, ang maximum weight nito ay dapat 7 kilograms or 15 pounds. Now, on top of this, madalas tinatanong niyo ako, Ms. Jamie, aside ba from hand carry uh, baggage, pwede ba akong magdala ng halimbawa, small bag or ng backpack? So, ang sagot ko lang sa inyo madalas ay ang maari niyo lang dalin ay additional two personal items, lalo na kung kayo ay nasa economy class. Yan. Sa business class, medyo mas mataas ang hand carry baggage weight. Some of them, like may mga business class na nagiging 
12 kilograms, pero yung additional two personal items may be the same. Now, limitado lang po ang mga items na mag fall into two personal categories na they will consider na complementary. So, para sa Philippine Airlines, dalawa. So, any of these two, a small handbag. Take note, mga kabayan, small. So, pwedeng pang ano lang yan, pass, palagayan ng passport, lagayan ng cellphone, pero hindi pwedeng meron ka ng, uh, halimbawa, isa ka ng may hand carry baggage ka na na 7kg, tapos meron ka pang malaking backpack. Kung maliit yung backpack na, like for ladies, may maliliit naman eh, pang mga wallet lang, yun, maari, yun, hindi kasi sitahin. Pero, kung medyo malaki yun, maaring sitahin ka kasi they will consider that as two hand carry bag when you are only entitled for one. Next one is pocketbook or purse or wallet. An overcoat, yung mabibigat na coat, wrap or blanket. Ako po kapag, uh, halimbawa, punta ako sa Alaska, punta ako sa Canada, punta ako sa UK, yung makapal na makapal na coat ko, dinadala ko na lang po kaysa ibalot ko. Uh, simply because it's so heavy and bulky. Yan. So, pwede naman po yan. And then, a small camera or binoculars, laptop with case, hindi bad, with case lang po, ha? So, hindi na po ganun sila kaluwag. Unlike before, lalo na sa Middle Eastern carrier, kapag may laptop bag ka, kahit may luggage ka, allowed yon. Tapos may small bag ka pa dati, allowed yon. But now, hindi na po. So, pag laptop, with case lang po. And then, a reasonable amount of reading material. Huwag naman buong library. <laughs> hindi po yan. Sisitahin na kayo dyan. Mga isang piraso o dalawang piraso lang po ng libro. Simply because, yun lang naman ang kayang basahin kapag ikaw ay nasa aeroplano. And then, of course, if ever you bought anything from duty-free, please keep the receipt for the duty-free. Yeah, maaari pong inspekin yan. And then, infants food for consumption in flight. And last, pair of crutches. And or braces, walking stick, and other prosthetics device, uh, other prosthetic device for the passenger's use, provided that the passenger is dependent upon them. So please take note of that, everyone. Napaka importante nito. And paki take note po ha. Dapat again isang hand carry bag at isa lang pong maliit na bag. Kapag marami kayo na kasug pit na parang bag sa shoulders niyo, they will consider it and count it individually. So, please take note of that. Yan po ang para sa Philippine Airlines. Now, i-check niyo rin po with different airlines kasi for example, Cathay Pacific, for them, it's just, you can carry only one personal item, not two. So, pipili lang kayo dun sa listahan ng Cathay and then, uh, yun lang po dadali nyo, huwag kayong magdadalawa. So, sa Philippine Airlines naman, ako po, as I've told you in my other video, they actually charged me, I think it was my flight from Vancouver to the Philippines, hindi ko alam nagbago yung rule nila. Kasi dati, they still accepted like yung may laptop ako, tapos may laptop pag ako na extra. Uh, nung time na yon sabi nila the the protocols or what you call the guide, the rules of the airlines had changed. So, I need to pay. So, sayang. Ang mahal din nun, uh, I think mga nasa $70 din yung binayaran ko uh, during that time. So, but still, di ba, sayang din uh, na napunta lang doon. If I only knew, di, di i-compress ko na sana yung gamit ko. Now, after that, I learned if you'll be traveling with Philippine Airlines, so, 7 kilograms yung hand carry baggage and then since hindi na ako nagdadala ng laptop bag kasi sinisita nila so may small bag handbag na lang ako tapos lahat ng other items ko nakalagay na doon sa hand carry ko now kapag pinagsama-sama yan halimbawa yung personal items plus the hand carry bag ang total number of kilograms the Philippine Airlines will accept is 7 kilograms plus 3 kilograms personal items, that will be total of 10 kilograms, not more. So, most of the time, nilalagay ko na lang sa isang bag kasi mas gusto ko rin nakabag yung aking uh, laptop 
Uh, but then again, kasama siya sa two personal items. So, in excess siya doon sa 7 kilograms. So, nilalagay ko na rin sa same hand carry bag. And then, I will just simply tell the check-in personnel that kasama na dyan yung two personal items ko. So, kapag tinimbang nila yung aking hand carry bag, maaring uh, it might be almost 10 kilograms or exactong 10 kilograms. Okay sa kanila yon simply because they accounted the two personal items. Yun po ang aking tip sa inyo. So that at least you will not end up like me that I had to pay for excess baggage fee simply because I carried two bags. Uh, so they considered another one as, as the second-hand carry bag. So small bag bags, that's fine. Okay, great. So ito po yung two personal items. Now let's just take a look. How about for the seven kilograms? So what are the items that are allowed and restricted for hand carry or carry on items? So let's start. Now, makikita at maririnig nyo palagi sa airport yung lag or LAG. So ang allowed items natin ay yung liquid gel and aerosols. So these are non-flavorable liquid liquids, gels, and aerosols. This includes food, drink, toiletries in quantity of 3.4 ounces or less. At laging nakabalot po ito ha. Ang LAG, tandaan po natin, this has to be packed in this 100 ml plastic na may seal or resealable plastic bag. So for the liquid, ano ba lang ang inaalaw sa carry-on? So nearly all liquids like beverage, na nasa can, contact lens solution, shampoo, pero hindi po yung malaki ha. Again, less than uh, 3.4 yung quantity niya or less than 100 ml ito. Makeup products, liquid medicine, nail polish, perfume and cologne. Maliit lang po na perfume at cologne, 100 ml or less. That's it po. Kasi pag malaki, Katulad ko sa Brazil naman yun, ah, nagmamadali ako, hindi ko nalagay sa check-in bag yung aking perfume, ay, ay, ang aking cologne. So that was a Victoria's Secret. So ah, kahit konti na lang kalahati siya, sabi nila, no, we have to throw it. So when I was at the security area, I had to throw it. So ah, please, only very small, less than 100 ml, ang pwede yung dali na liquid sa in yung bag na kasama ng resealable bag. And then face toner as well, less than 100 ml that you can include in the resealable bag. That's for the liquid. Now let's take a look at the aerosols. Now for aerosols, uh, these are products dispensed in a pressurized spray can or bottle. Now like hairspray, dry shampoo, or spray on the deodorant. So, again, uh, for uh, this one, uh, wag naman po yung masyadong malaki kapag sa hand carry. Although, they did not mention uh, the size. So, kinakailangan uh, ito ay ito, uh, nasa 3.4 ounces or less lang po siya. Ako actually, yung mga canned, I, canned aerosols ko sa bag ko, check-in luggage ko nilalagay. Next one, gels. Now, ang mga gels naman, uh, products dispense in a pressurized spray can or bottle like hair gel, toothpaste, hand sanitizer, face serum. Please, again, take note in quantities of 3.4 uh, ounces or less. So, mga less than, ano po yan, yung sa kailangan kasama siya dun sa resealable pack. So, please just make sure na um, you just simply have a combination of what will be included dun sa receivable, receivable pack ninyo of LAGs. So, yan po yung mga samples natin mga kabayan. And then, uh, what else? Sabi dito, all, all liquid gel or aerosol or LAG items you carry on including food and drink must be in a 3.4 ounce or smaller container and must fit together. Ayan po ha. Must fit together in one single quart size clear zippered plastic bag. So if you have a 6 ounce tub of lotion and you've already used more than half of it, up 
you are still not allowed to bring it uh, through TSA and onto the plane. So, parang ano yan eh, yung Victoria's Secret ko nung I was in Brazil. So, kalahati na po siya, mga siguro less na rin siya ng 100 ml, kaya lang yung bote, malaki. So, they still considered, hindi yung laman, but yung size nung pinaka uh, Victoria's Secret uh, cologne ko po. So, tapon. Hi, and sakit sa... <laughs> Favoritong scent ko pa naman yon. Pero, yun po. So, just be very careful about it. Take note of this uh, limitations because of the zippered plastic bag na dapat 3.4 ounce lang po siya. Now, uh, sabi dito, however, exceptions to these rules can include pwede po ma-exempt dito yung medically necessary liquids, maaring kagaya ng insulin at mga baby formula. Yan po yung para sa ating LAG or tinatawag nating lag. Now, let's talk about batteries. Pwede bang magdala? So, you can actually pack dry batteries, A, A, AA, AAA, C, and D in either carry-on or check baggage. Pero, may limitation po ito ha. Yung lithium batteries with 100 watt hours or less may be carried on the plane or checked as long as they are in a device. Loose lithium batteries may be only for hand carry. Ayan. Uh, carried on and cannot be placed in check-in baggage. So, in my other video, mas detalyado pa po ano-ano klaseng batteries ang maari nyo naman for hand carry at ganun din pa for check-in. Now, what else? Electronics. So, ang mga electronics naman, uh, this ang source po natin is from realsimple.com. Ayan, sabi dito, uh, maari kang magdala ng electronics. Maliit. Portable electronic items na mas maliit pa than a standard size laptop such as cell phones and tablets. Please do not have, you do not have to be, uh, this ha okay, so what will happen for these small ones, uh, they do not have to be removed from the baggage during screening. Now, larger electronics include laptops, full-size video games, consoles, full-size DVD players now, most of the time, this may be asked na alisin from your cases uh, simply because uh, you have to place this in a separate bin and screen individually at security checkpoints. So far in my experience, well, ito yung generic mga kabayan ha, so far mga experience ko sa, sa American airport, sa UK airport, and some Southeast Asian airport, ang ginagawa po nila is Ah, uh, lahat ng electronics actually, even the cell phones, kailangan il ilabas na rin at ilagay siya dun sa separate bin. Ang laptop madalas magkahiwalay at with the mobile phone, yun yung napapansin ko. So, it might be for screening. Sometimes, uh, depende kung ma-random check ka. So, pag na-random check ka, iti-check nila pa bubuksan sa'yo yung laptop. So, yung electronics po natin, make sure that at least uh, charge po ito para kung pabuksan po sa inyo hindi na hindi pa hindi doon pa kayo magcha-charge charge niyo na para makita lang nila kung ano gusto nilang makita yan po so that is for the electronics now allowed items for hand carry baggage will also be medicine and medical equipment now all prescription and over the counter medications can be carried on board the aircraft in an uns unspecified quantities other medical necessities uh, include but not limited to for those who have asthma, the inhalers, EpiPens for those who have allergies, canes, cast, blood sugar testing for those who have diabetes, crutches, liquid nutrition for passengers with a disability, and items used for medical or cosmetic reasons such as mastectomy products can be, can be packed and carry on bags. Now, these items must be declared to screeners before going through security and are subject to additional screening. Baby food equipment and needs. So, these are allowed. So, from the baby formula, breast milk, juice, gel, or liquid-filled teethers, and canned, adjourned, or processed baby food is permitted on board the plane if a baby or a small child is traveling. Now, ang mga items na ito, they do not need to meet the 311 rule like other liquids or gels, 
2. But must be removed from the carry-on luggage declared to screeners before going through security and are subject to additional screening. Now, in addition to food and baby formulas, you may also bring baby wipes, child car seats, or baby carriers can be taken through security and onto the plane. So, those are the allowed items for hand carry for baby food equipment and needs. Now, expensive items. So, you can definitely bring with you in your hand carry baggage the expensive items that you have such as but not limited to jewelries currency and other valuable items now it is always advised by the airline companies that you should be carrying it uh, and at the same time must meet security regulations now how about the e-liquids electronic cigarettes and vaping devices are this a lot for hand carry Yes, so these items are allowed for the hand carry baggage. Now, as long as the amount of the e-liquid you're carrying on board is less than 3.4 ounces, it is allowed through security. Now, quantities larger than 3.4 ounces must be checked. The following can only be taken on board the aircraft in your carry-on or your person, meaning uh, if you have a pocket, you can, uh, you know, just simply place it in your pocket. Now, battery-powered e-cigarettes, vaporizers, vape pens, atomizers, and electronic nicotine delivery system. Now, the FAA in the U.S. prohibits all of these devices in checked bag. And I believe in other airlines as well, they prohibit these devices in checked bags as well. Now, how about disposable and electric razors? Now, both disposable and electric razors are allowed in either carry-on or checked baggage. How about small pets? Are they allowed? So, small pets are allowed to travel with passengers through security checkpoints, but it's the responsibility to contact the airline for the specific policy. So, uh, iba't ibang mga airlines, iba't ibang policy when it comes to small pets. Now, for those airlines that are allowing small pets such as Shih Tzu's, Poodle, and other, you know, small dogs uh, or cats, so, pets need to be taken out of their carrier, which will also need to go through security and screened by the security team. However, not all airlines are allowing small pets to travel. Like most Middle Eastern carriers or airlines um, are restricting. Restricting small pets from flying with your airline so yun po mga kabayan you just choose before you actually book a ticket if you'll be traveling with your pets especially the small dogs or a cat uh please check first with the airlines if they're allowing small pets uh on board because maybe they're not so please double check so you can book with other airlines who actually allow small pets on board did you know that Falcons for Middle Eastern carriers or airlines like Etihad Airways, Qatar Airways, they are allowing Falcon on board? Yes, you heard me right. And depends upon the owner, sometimes they can actually book a seat for the Falcon himself. But of course, there's a designated cage for the Falcons as well. Now, these are other items that you kept asking me if it's allowed to be carried. So, chocolate. Chocolate bars are allowed. Again, make sure that the free baggage weight limit is taken into consideration. Chocolate bars are allowed, but again, must observe the weight limit. Bar soaps are allowed again. So, again, just a reminder with the weight limit. Medicines and prescriptions. So, we did mention that already earlier. What are allowed? Food supplements. Uh, definitely, these are also allowed. Sealed food items are al also allowed on board for your hand carry baggage. And the Bluetooth speaker and power bank too. However, again, in my other video, we will be talking about some restrictions or limitations for 
the power bank that you can bring with you on board an aircraft. But then again, these are the allowed items for hand carry that you should take into consideration. Now, if these are the allowed items, mga kabayan at balikbayan, ano naman ang mga bagay na pinagbabawal? So, items not allowed as a carry-on. So, let us just take a look at this. Let's start with the sporting equipment. So, sporting goods and athletic equipment with the exceptions of balls, many pieces of sporting equipment such as baseball bats, golf clubs, ski poles, hockey sticks, lacrosse sticks, martial arts weapon, hiking poles, and tent spikes or poles are not allowed or prohibited from carry-on luggage and must be transported in checked-in baggage. So, Please take note of that. Now, there will be some exemptions, including tennis rackets, fishing poles, no shoes, and long birds. Now, bicycles are sometimes allowed. Depends on the airline, everyone. On flights, but it varies by airline. Check with your airlines for details. Now, items that are not allowed include self-defense items. Now, self-defense sprays such as mace or pepper spray are not allowed on board. And any other items such as billy clubs, blackjacks, brass knuckles, kubutons, and other martial arts weapon. These are not permitted past the airport security. Now, how about gel-type candles? Now, while solid wax candles are allowed in a carry-on and checked luggage, the gel-like candles can only be transported via checked baggage. So, should you be carrying one? So, please take note, it is for check-in luggage. Now, how about sharp objects? Now, this includes a wide array of items such as box cutters, ice axes, and picks, knives including pocket knives but excluding plastic or round bladed butter knives, meat cleavers, razor type blades, and scissors that exceed 4 inches. Smaller scissors can be carried on. Again, that will depend upon the airlines, everyone. So please take note, those are the sharp objects that are not allowed as carry on. Few reminders. Okay, any sharp objects in your checked baggage should always be covered or securely wrapped to prevent injury to baggage handlers and inspectors. So, since hindi ka kasha any, any sharp objects more than 4 inches, automatically pang check-in baggage ito. Pero make sure meron itong cover, meron itong casing para hindi masugatan ka at hindi masugatan ang mga baggage handler or ground staff too when handling your luggage. Now, how about alcohol? Now, items that are not allowed as carry-on are large quantities of alcohol that is actually more than 3.4 ounces. Now, any beverage with over 70% alcohol content such as grain alcohol and 151 proof from cannot be checked or taken onto the plane in your carry-on bag. Now, to bring more than that, like bottles of wine, you may pack in your checked baggage up to 5 liters to, ad to adult beverages, more than 24% but less than 70% alcohol in an, an open retail packaging. So, please just take note of this. Travelers. Now, what else? What other items are not allowed as carry-on? Now, this will include guns and ammunition. Now, well-packaged ammunition and well-packaged unloaded firearms like BB guns, compressed air guns like paintball markers, pellet guns, starter pistols, and replicas can be placed in your check-in luggage and must be declared at the check-in. Uh, I mean, once you check in at the airport, but these are not allowed as carry on. Now, as per the TSA regulations on guns, firearms carried in checked baggage must be unloaded, packed in a locked hard sided container, and declared to the airlines upon checking in. Now, and on ammunition, sinabirin po nila small arms 
ammunition must be securely packed in fiber, wood, or metal boxes or other packaging specifically designated to carry small amounts of ammunition. Ask the airlines about the limitations or fees so that you can be sure as well. Now, when in doubt, always ask the airlines about specific rules and regulations for checking about the firearms. So everyone, I just shared to you the most that I could share regarding items that are allowed and not allowed as carry on. However, please always double check with your airlines in case you're in doubt or not sure or the items that you would like to carry for for a carry on bag is was not mentioned from this video. So tanong lang po kay sa airlines nang sa gayon malaman po ninyo ano ba yung ayaw nilang ipadala o pinagbabawal nang nang sa gayon ay hindi niyo na dalhin at maiwan niyo na sa bahay ninyo. Ayan. In my other video, I will share to you ano ano ba yung mga items not allowed both in carry on in uh, and at the same time check in baggage pero sa isang video ko na po yun so that at least we can discuss also in details medyo mahaba rin po kasi yun so with that mga kabayan looking forward that this video had helped you if you find this video helpful and informative please click like and i'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel so that you will know Whenever we have a new video. So muli mga kabayan, sana po tayong dako ng mundo, taas noo, tayo po'y mga Filipino. My name is Jamie Iris and I'm simply thanking you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next vlog.